In this video, we're going to have a look at taking information from a file, but instead of just taking it and dumping it straight into a variable and outputting it to the screen, what we'll do is we'll take it and we'll stick it inside a list. So we're going to populate a list from a file. Okay, so sometimes it can be useful to get data from a file. So you can preload the data from the file and then you can add it to a list. Then in the list, you can manipulate it and play with it in any manner that you want. Now we've seen lists before and we've seen calculations with lists and things like that. So we can do similar things. So when we're reading in information from the um, the file, it's read in as a string. And then when we put that information into our list, it would be a string. So to be used in any form of calculation or manipulation, you would have to make sure that you cast the variable. Okay, so the for loop in files. So for loop is really useful as we've seen for lists. It's also really useful for files. So what we can do here is we can use the for loop. So we can say for line. Now that'll do it for every line in the file. So for every line in the file. So for every line in test file. So it will keep going through the test file until it gets to the end of the file, the EOF, shortcut name as it's known. So it will keep going round and round and round the test file, doing each of the separate lines until it gets to the end of the file. So we have got strip line equals, and then I've got this line dot strip so what line is doing is line is taking each of the lines in turn. So it'll take the first line and the dot strip at the end will take away the white space. It takes out any spaces before and any spaces after the actual data in the file. So you've just got the data itself or the word itself or the number itself. So it takes that for this line. And then it stores it inside a variable called stripped underscore line. And then all we're going to do is we're going to add it to our list. So we've got a list called data. So data dot append stripped line. So we're taking the line of information from the file. We're taking away any spaces before or after it. So we've just got the raw data and we're storing it inside strip line and then we're going to append it to our list. Now that will go on and on and on, round and round and round again until we hit the end of the file. So it reads in all of the information and stores it inside this list called data. So we'll look at an example of that. So the first thing we're going to do, because we're using REPL, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create a file. So the file that is used in this next example for when you're doing it yourself, the file that's used is the test.txt file. So what you'll need to make sure you do is create a file called test.txt in REPL and then add some names to it. So I'll give you an example of what I've added. So mine's has got these names here. Okay, you can add to whoever you want. It doesn't really matter for our purposes at the moment. Okay, so to do this thing, we start off, we have got the author, the date, and what's actually happening here. So down in the main section of code, I've set up a list I've got data equals and the two square brackets. So it's a blank list called data. 
all ready for me to get this information from the file. OK, so I'm printing out read from the file. OK, and then file content. So read file. Up here, we jump to read file. And then I have got test file equals open test.txt for reading. So the file we created, we're opening up to read it. And then I've got for line in test file. So for every line inside test.txt, we're going to line dot strip. So we're going to read the line and we're going to take off the extra spaces before and after any characters there. So we're stripping it, we're taking out the white space. We just get the raw data. That's stored in this variable called stripped line. And then we've got data dot append stripped line. So we're adding it into the data list. And that goes round and round and round and round and adds the data into this list. And then at the end of that, we just close the file. We come down here to print and then we print out the data. So it just prints out the list onto the screen. OK, and you, as you can see, I've got the names similar to the names that I created in the file before. If you're trying this, you need to make sure you create the file in the same location as the other files inside REPL. OK, I'm using another example. This time I'm using three different files. There's lots of ways of getting information from a file. You could use one file and you could strip the information out from each of the different entries that you've got. What I've chosen to do, as for level six, is use three files. So similar to the last one, before we can do anything, we have to create these files. So we have one called hours.txt, one called rate.txt, and one called names.txt. I've given you an example of these three files on the next slide. So this is just stuff I've stuck in um, without really thinking. So lots of different names in there, lots of different hours in there, and lots of different rates in there. OK, so I've got my three files. So now all I need to do is I need to look at getting the information from the files. So you can either combine. No. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the information from the hours. You can read the information from the rate and then read the name. So for all of these three files, I'm reading in the information. OK. So we have got rate, which is set up as a blank list. Hours, which is set up as a blank list and name, which is set up as a blank list. So inside here, we've got print, read from the files. So I'm going to read the hours first. So I'll go back. So read hours. So I'm creating test file equals, and I want it to open hours.txt to read. And then I'm saying for every line inside this test file, inside hours.txt, take the line, take away any white space that's there, any extra white space in front or behind the actual data, take it in and store it inside this thing called strip line. That's just a variable name. And then I've got hours.append strip line. So I'm adding it, appending it, to this list called hours. So it'll go round and round and round the full file until it's read everything in and hours has then been populated. Then we close the file and we'll jump back to the main area and then we read the rate. 
So we're in read rate. This time I've got test file equals open rate.txt and I'm opening up for reading. So for each line in rate.txt, get the line and strip any white space from the front or the end of the data and stick it inside this variable called strip line. And then we have rate.append strip line. So whatever it's got, it just sticks it inside the rate list. And it'll go round and round and round the file until it has got all the information out of the file and it is now populated the rate list. So we then close the file and we jump back again to the main section of code. And then we have read name, which is up here. So again, we've got test file equals open name.txt for reading. Then we've got for each line in this file, name.txt, get the line and take out all the white space. So we've got line.strip, stick it inside this variable called strip line, and then add it, append it to the name list. So name.append strip line. So it adds the data that we've taken from the file and it sticks it inside the name list and it keeps going round and round and round until the full file has been read and the list has been populated. So we come back down here because we've done read name and now all we're doing is we're printing out the lists just to prove that it has happened. So print rate, so the rates are printed out here, print hours hours are printed out there and print the name and the names are printed out there. So we have got data in from a number of different files. Try these exercises okay, and make sure you're okay with it. If not, ask me in class and then have a look at the exercises on Canvas. Okay, so the exercises on Canvas bring this together with what we have done before in relation to playing about with lists. Any questions, just ask.